Okay, now I want to try and help you understand some of the rules that apply to electricity. First of all, you know what happens when I plug this in. And you may know that what I'm going to plug it into is 110 volts. What's a volt? Well, a volt is a measure of energy. But you'll notice that when I plug this in, something else happens. Current flows through here. We measure current in amperes. You may have heard amps. Somebody's talking about electrical stuff. Amperes run through there. So the voltage makes it flow, and the amperes are the electrons. It's actually how many electrons are flowing. So it's like if I had a tube of water, and if I had the tube perfectly level, the water would stay in the tube. But if I went like this, the water would flow out of the tube. The difference in energy is the voltage, and that's what makes it flow. The actual material is the current. So watch what happens here. You plug this in, and as you sort of suspected, all of the bulbs burn. And they burn the way you've seen light bulbs like that burn. Now let me show you something else that's kind of interesting. These bulbs have relatively high resistance. And what that means is that it's kind of hard for the electrons to fight their way through the light bulb. Here's a light bulb that has a lot lower resistance. It doesn't oppose the electrons as much. So I'm going to take one of these light bulbs out of here. I'm going to put this one in place of it. Watch what happens when I plug it in. Now remember, this one has less resistance. This one doesn't oppose the flow of electrons as much as these do. And look what happens. Wow, a lot brighter, isn't it? Why is it brighter? Because most of the electrons are going through that bulb. Well, you think about it. If you had a choice of going through a place that's hard to go or go through a place that's easy to go, where are you going to go? Most people are going to go through the one that has the least amount of opposition. And that's why light bulbs have different brightnesses.